So hi friend, this is Amit and you are watching my channel Information and Educational Video. Here I will provide you the most important information related to JOSA counseling that is after getting the seat what you need to do and this will be applicable for all the round of JOSA counseling that is original round not the mock round allotment. So if you are first to my channel please try to subscribe this channel so you will be getting all the update and information at the right time. So let's get started with the video straight away that is first thing after getting the seat what you need to do obviously first you will have to pay the fee according to your category that is 15,000 for SC, ST and PWD category and 35,000 for OBC, EWS and general category. This is fixed. This is including the 3,000 JOSA counseling processing fee except that all the fee will be adjusted with your academic fee. Suppose if you will pay 35,000 then 32,000 will be deducted from the first year academic fee once you take the admission after the JOSA counseling. So the important thing is that once you not pay this amount it is very clear that you are not going to get any type of seat in JOSA counseling this year. So it is very important to pay the fee after that all the thing will be will be done. But if you will not pay the fee in the required time that is after first round that is if you will get the seat uh, in the first round then you will have to pay the fee and all the document upload all the process that I will discuss now. But the fee payment last date is 26. So you have to do that that is from 23 up to 26 you will have the time and if there will be some problem in your document that you can re-upload up to 27 because on 28 there will be second round of counseling and also those a student who uh, who are from PWD category and you haven't done the physical verification you have to do the physical verification in the same college whatever you will get in the given time it is from 23 to 26 so the so the important thing is now after payment what you need to do after payment you will able to download your provisional admission later and after that you will able to select the choices that is that is decision what you want to do if you want to take the admission you will select the freeze that is you don't want to go for the next round and if you if you want to go for the next round and want the same college with better branch that is called sliding and if you want to get any type of branch in any uh, uh, any possible college above to the choices whatever you have got in first round because only the above choices will be considered in the upcoming round down what choices will not be considered suppose you got the 10 number choices in the choice filling and you fill 20 choices so from 11 to 20 is of no use that will not be used in the upcoming round only 1 to 9 will be used and if you if you will do float option then you can get any choices from 1 to 9 that will be possible for you in the upcoming round so once you take the decision then you will have to upload the document and here you can see the detail of the counseling that i will cover that is almost every counseling across india that is josa csap jack daily jack chandigarh mstct uptu bits counseling oj wbj comet k k set weighted triple e manipal srm amrita good set and other counseling as well that is centralized decentralized state level counseling all type of counseling i will cover yeah, so, so here what i will uh, focus mostly is college selection college comparison with the choice filling that is personalized choice filling that is discussing with you and branch selection is also and important most nowadays. important feature is that 24 by 7 it is all the time you can ask your question after in 10 a.m you can contact me any number of time for any type of doubt or discussion up so to first time. you would need to contact me then do the registration is so nominal charge will be applicable as i will be providing you the personal time so it will take lots of comment that is your class 10 class 12 certificate and provisional admission letter whatever you got and there will be a state code of eligibility try to listen my word because that time you will be confused a state code of eligibility proof that will be your class 12 mark sheet itself because home state quota is decided by the class 12 uh, examination where you have done so that will be indicated on the class 12 mark sheet itself so you have to upload the class 12 mark sheet at both places that is at class 12 mark sheet and also in the state code of eligibility so once you upload everything try to check it again and again if there will be some problem suppose if you are from reserve category that is ews obc sc st or pwd and you provided the category certificate and if they will reject then you will have to provide the required certificate that is correct certificate in the given time and, and sidewise you can check all the document that you need to upload at the time once you not provide the right category certificate they will treat you as a general candidate and the seat that you have got in the first round or whenever you are getting the first seat and you are doing the document upload you that seat will be cancelled and from next round of that round you will be treated as a general candidate so this was the very important information try to listen many students think that if they will not provide the certificate then uh, then the admission process will be cancelled that seat will be cancelled but upcoming round you will able to get the seat through uh, general rank because you will be treated as a general candidate so hope you get this information very useful for you 
so now the important thing is that once you do the document verification and uh, uh, fee payment whether you need to do the same again if you will get the next college in the upcoming round so here two thing is there if you will get the different college that is first you get the nit triple it or gfti this three type of college is called nit plus system if you will get the college in nit plus system in upcoming round if you will get the seat in iits then you will have to do the same thing again because there they may require a little bit more document and what and vice versa also true if you will get iit in first round in upcoming round you will get the nit then you have to do the verification again but the payment you don't need to do because payment is required only one time suppose in first round you pay the fee you will be eligible for all the round of counseling process you will not have to pay any extra money so hope you get this information very useful for you so please try to subscribe this channel so you will be getting all the update and information like this at the right time in the same channel thanks